Well, 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 welcome back to Day of the Diver. So we got this new quest up here, Stormy Night 2, where we're supposed to find a vortex. It's nighttime, it's stormy, it's not always nighttime, and it's not always stormy. So maybe we should go ahead and dive into the water and look for a vortex. Maybe that's what we should do. Uh, let's see, where is this? Here it is, this mission right here. Find the vortex. Another storm, I was instructed to enter a vortex at night. Let's do it, man. But before we do that, uh, looks like we can do something in our weapon shop. We can't upgrade. We have enough parts to upgrade our tranquilizer gun. I really haven't been using the tranquilizer gun, so I kind of don't want to use the parts to upgrade it, to be honest with you. Tranquilizer gun with strong tra tranquilizing effect. Tranquilized creatures will be of high grade. Yeah, I don't really know what happens when I tranquilize them. Then am I supposed to catch them with a net? Do I just walk over to them? <laughs> Swim over to them and pick them up? I don't know. But I'm not really interested in that right now. I do wonder, though, am I supposed to go... No, I can't talk to him. I can't shop at night, so I can't do that. I'm wondering where do I get this thing to catch tuna, but maybe there aren't tuna out here at night. Salvage drone. Holy macaroni. That's expensive. Right now I have a level one salvage drone, which means I can only airlift one tuna per dive. But as far as the little bomb that we get, I don't know where that is. And there's probably not going to be tuna out here at night anyway. Um, let's see. What, um, I've got the sniper rifle. I like the sniper rifle. I'm going to stick with it. Who knows what we're going to face down here. Probably another boss fish or something. Let's dive down in here. Oh, look at this guy, a striped catfish. That's kind of fun. All right, looking for frickin' Vortex. And it is really dark down here tonight. It seems darker than before. Oh man, I do not want to deal with you. But we need to get rid of this guy, otherwise he's just going to be a pain in our butt. Get another Titan trigger fish. Alright, I'm going to try to avoid picking things up. I, it's a sickness. I, I have to loot, but I'll try not to because we're going to try to focus on getting to... Ooh, shark. The vortex. Which we generally hear before we get to it. Yep, we hear it. We're getting close. It is very, very loud. Here it is over here. Let's go in the vortex. Yes. Dangerous creature. What will we find in the vortex? <laughs> I ended up in a strange space again. Mm. Well, this place looks uninhabited. Well, I doubt it very much. There's two oxygens down here and a weapon thing. Let's go ahead and switch to our sniper. Sniper? Sniper weapon. And what do we see? Oh, what the heck is that? Oh my, is boxing gloves on? The hell? <laughs> what? Mantis shrimp. Okay, where, how are we gonna fight this guy? He's got his dukes up. Huh? A crawfish wearing a pair of boxing gloves? I think I know what it is. It must be a mantis shrimp. Yeah, because that's how you that's how you uh, are able to tell if a shrimp is a mantis shrimp because it'll have boxing gloves on. But its size is unreal. I guess it could crush me with one hit. It would be nice if I could find something tough to block that thing's punches. Well, there's our hint. We need to find something tough to block that thing's punches. Um, hmm. So what can I... Ooh, interact with here. Oh man, that took some of my oxygen away. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, he missed us. Let's, let's swim around here and see if we could find something tough. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Yep, 
there's only so much I could do. It's like, oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, he got me anyway. Well, I tried to swim out of the way. Okay, well, this is obviously not the right thing to do. So we'll just go ahead and die and then try this again. Um, I did not s immediately see anything that I could use to hide behind unless I'm supposed to go down here. Nope, it's just another weapon. Okay. So... What am I supposed to do? Okay, I can get underneath of him. Am I supposed to just shoot him? Oh, okay, so he's... Now I'm on top of him. Okay, so this isn't working. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything. That didn't seem to do anything either. Okay, well, um... Hmm. Not really seeing what I'm supposed to do here. This is like the only thing I see, this. But I don't see any way to interact with it at all. And even though I'm behind this, he still hurts me a little bit. Oh, and he hit me anyway. Let's see. When he raises his dukes up... What's this? Okay, that didn't hurt him either. Hmm. Um. Well, I'm out of ammo now, so... I don't really know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh, okay, so he punches me into spikes as if there's not enough trouble already. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Huh. I mean, normally in these fights it takes me a couple of tries to figure it out. But... I... Uh, I mean, really, this is the only thing I see. I can't seem to interact with it at all. Okay, it's gonna push me back into the spikes. That's great. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Okay. Oh, he hit me anyway. Okay, well. I want to see if I get a hit off on him. No. Okay, that did hurt him. Okay, ouch. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Oh, okay. What's this? Okay. Okay. Did that hurt him when I did that, maybe? Oh, oh. okay. Okay, I've got some ammo. Okay, so I guess we just try to survive a couple of t tries here. Oh, his dukes are back up again. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the hook. There's this thing. Oh, okay. Okay, pull it down, I guess. I, I'm not real sure what's going on here. Okay, I guess that hurts him. I got one um, bullet left. Okay, I've got more bullets now. What's he doing? I have no idea if I hit him or not. Okay, we're gonna just try this again. Let him take a swing at us. Okay, his dukes are back up. Okay, here's the hook thing again. Okay, we do this. All right. Okay, I think he hurts himself when he does that. Close enough to him to hit him in the face. Nope, that didn't do anything. Okay, so that didn't work. Oh, 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 okay. Well, we'll try this again. Okay, that didn't hit me. I'm trying to stay just out of his reach, but far enough away from the spikes. Oh, he's not dead yet, darn it. Okay. Oh, this is probably gonna hurt. Oh, it did. I'm out of ammo, doggone it. That was a weird symbol there. Okay, oh man. Oh, oh. oh get out of the way, dude. I need air. 
darn it. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, daggone it. All right. All right. Try it again. How many times do I have to hit this guy? So, hmm, I don't know, man. We need to... I'm not 100% sure I'm doing this right. All right, come on, dude. Let's get this party started. Come on. Okay, there he is. Can I fight him over here? No, it's better to fight him over here, closer to that thing. Okay, one hit. Take another hit. Put your dukes down, dude. Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. He hit me hard. Okay, three hits. I hate this part right here. It takes my control away. And then I can't grab onto that thing. Okay. That seemed to hurt him, maybe. I'm not sure. And even now, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think that hurts him. I think I need to focus on the strategy that seems to be working. He missed. Yeah. Oh, trying to hit him in the face. Oh, he got me, darn it. Oh, man. Put your gloves down. Oh, oh darn it. Oh, his dukes are back up. Well, I'm screwed. I'm not going to be able to avoid this next hit. Well, I did, though. That didn't hurt him. Get him in the eyes. Okay. Oh, come on. Enough already, dude. Jeez, when do I get to pull the thing down? Come on. All right. All right. Well, I... Okay. Oh, uh, all, all right. Okay. Don't know if I get up here in time. Nope, I missed my chance. Will he, maybe you'll put. Oh, nope, I missed my chance. Indeed, I missed my chance. Oh, oh, what the heck? I thought I got ammo. Okay, I guess I didn't. I said I got air. Okay, we need to hit him in the eyes. Oh, his dukes are back up. Okay. Okay. All right, come down here, get more ammo. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Okay, that's not the right thing to do. I just wanted to try it again. Okay. Oh, he hit me, doggone it. I'm out of ammo. Oh, there's the hook thing. Let's go up and get it. He dropped some more ammo down, so that's good. Pull this down. Okay. This one over here, try to get ammo. Okay, we got ammo, and we're gonna do this again. Okay. Oh, what's this? All right, he's just angry. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Okay, there's my three hits. Can't hit him anymore. Okay. Go grab the thing again. Oh, yeah, I hate the camera angles. It takes me off the side of the screen. That's annoying. Okay, now you need to get some air. Job one, get air. Job two, get ammo. Okay, we've got ammo. We've got air. Let's see if we can hang in there. Okay. Whoops. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, we died, what, three times to him? Three, four times? There must be something worth picking up. Yeah, let's pick up what the mantis shrimp is dropping. 
Mantis shrimp tail. Um, I guess that should be enough. I should go up and tell Sato. Okay. All right. Got some meat. Just going to do a quick swim down here. Just see if there's anything else hiding down here. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, we did it. Took us a few tries. We finally figured it out. I do like the variety in the battles. They do a nice job of, you know, adding variety. Different strategies. Okay, back to the vortex and back to the boat. Straight up. I'm not gonna mess around down here and risk getting killed by one of these jerkfish. Oh, there's a bunch of jerkfish over here. Okay, back up to the boats. All right, ha ha, fish. I could try to nip at my toes. It's not gonna work. Sato! Yes, this is a mantis shrimp shrimp boss card i haven't seen it even at the gym oh i mean the gym i work out at okay look if you transfer this card using share okay i got it see you then keep in touch keep collecting cards choo choo okay there you go we did it um okay i guess we'll move these to inventory i guess do i have to do this every time now i don't know To the fish tank. All right, well, let's um, hurry on over to Boncho's and make some money. We won't make as much tonight because it's going to be a shorter night because we spent a third of our night night diving. So first things first, um, we need to do some research. Okay, what we need is back to the Cooksta app. We need. A best taste of Kali 250. I don't know about that, man. I guess we're not there yet. 70, 120, 115. So none of these even come close. Not even close. So does it even matter which one of these I go with? Red tooth triggerfish. I think we have some of that in our inventory. It'd be nice if it told me let's see details let's see if this tells me okay so yeah good it does tell me so i do have quite a bit of red tooth trigger fish in my inventory so this would be a good one to learn i don't want to learn a recipe for which i have no fish right okay so this one here steamed wolf eel we've only got one wolf eel so I hesitate to learn this one, but we do need to learn like 19 of these to level up. Oh, we still have no rice. Ooh, we do need to get our rice, don't we? Uh, yeah. Okay. So all of these need, oh, this needs big eye scad. Starry puffer, whatever that said. Oh, oh. What's this little icon here? Rice and egg. Small stuttered, spotted darts. Well, we only have one of these. Huh. Cleone Queen Soup. I mean, it is worth a lot. Well, let's make this. What the heck? Like I said, we need to research a lot of recipes. Can't make that. Whoops. Can't make that. Can't make that. Okay. Well, maybe we could do go ahead and make this one, even though we only have one. It's also a very expensive dish. Tonight we're gonna put some stuff on our menu that's very expensive. Okay. All right, let's go to our menu. 
and we're sorted by price. We're gonna start with the steamed wolf eel. We only have one of these. Can only make one. I mean, I'm gonna put it on a supply anyway. I don't think anything will happen, but I know, there's a possibility that I'm looking at things wrong. Okay, next. Ooh, we have 15 of these, of the shark stuff. If we enhance it. Okay, I'm gonna start. I was gonna say, I was gonna start skipping these, but I don't remember this one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that one was new or not. I don't know if I've actually seen that one. Okay, so the Mega Mouth Shark Sushi. Let's go ahead and put this on our menu. We're gonna auto supply it. Why would we not wanna auto supply? When would we not wanna do that? I'm not sure. Um, the tuna we do not wanna put on our menu yet. We wanna save that for tuna night. Let's enhance this. And then finally, we have quite a bit of tuna here. Pacific Fanfish Sushi. We only got two of these. Let's put this on it instead. Looks like we could add ingredients to some of these things. We could add black tiger shrimp. What? It already is black tiger shrimp. Add ingredients. Huh, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, well, our menu's ready. It's gonna be a short night, but we have some things on our menu that are pretty expensive, so hopefully we'll make some decent money tonight. Let's do this. Okay, again, I'm gonna walk down here towards the end in case anybody wants a drink. Oh, they are coming in. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, people. Oh my gosh. I should really let my servers do the pouring. That way I don't have to worry about getting it right, you know? It's very time consuming, but they do it very quickly. Keep an eye on the wasabi over there. That's an interesting addition to the game. Just another thing to keep an eye on. Oh, somebody wants a drink down here. So time consuming. It's so time consuming. Oh, we did it though. I think we got another five star, I feel like. But it was a shorter night. Okay. And... Wow, 4,560, I'd say that's a pretty good night. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's pretty cool. So it's looking like Steamed Wolf Eel. It says revenue 550 times three. How are we able to serve three of those? Because I felt like we only had one Steamed Wolf Eel. I don't know, man, there's so many little things about this game that I'm not real clear on, but hey, we made a lot of money. That's really all that matters. Phew, I should call it a day. It's a long road becoming a great master. Oh, what's this? Makes you happy, bud.
<laughs> what is this? <laughs> what in the world is this? A live stage begins in Duff's dream. When the high button reaches the cursor, press, I guess, both of these buttons at the same time. Is that what it's telling me? I guess that's what it's trying to tell me. <laughs> we get some rhythm game now? <laughs> okay. Use the mouse to move your hand up and down and hit the green note. Okay. When an orange note appears, shake the mouse left and right for loud applause. Now it's time for some cheering. What? Okay, now I've never really I've never really played rhythm games. I mean ever at all in any respect. I think like Beat Saber with uh uh I have a Meta Quest 2, I think is what it's called. I played Beat Saber on that. I guess that's kind of a rhythm game. But that's about my experience with these games, so I don't really know what to expect. This could be an absolute disaster, and it probably will be. I'm hoping it'll go slowly at the start. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. This game just keeps continuing to surprise. Oh, gosh. Okay, what do we do here? Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh gosh. What am I doing? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, I can't watch the show. I'm too busy looking down at the bottom of the screen. This is getting crazy. <laughs> oh, did I get to 10,000? Oh, not quite 10,000. Did you play enough? Yes, I played enough. So uh, if, if you were paying attention, you saw that there was a little edit in that uh, gameplay right there where it looked like a little bit of it was just a little bit was cut out. What happened was this game, it doesn't lock my mouse. So uh, I can move my mouse actually off of this monitor onto my, my right side monitor, even though it looks like it's locking it now. But anyway, um, and... Uh, Anyway, my mouse moved to my right monitor, and then when I clicked, it changed focus to my right monitor, which made the game go away, and it showed my screen background, and so I cut that out. So if you were, if you saw that happen, that's that's why that happened, just in case you were curious. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think I played <laughs> It was freaking bizarre. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the score, um, but um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> A new mobile game called Leia's Run is now available. You can play the game from your phone's game factory. <laughs> this this game just continues to surprise and impress and delight. <laughs> this is just so cool. <laughs> Gosh. All right, whatever. Chapter 4 Abandoned Cave. VIP VIP visit D-Day. Uh, by the way, Tenzin asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage Key. I must return to the Elder's Place in the Sea People Village. What? But I have to go to the cave first, right? 
Udo. Sir, the picture you took was well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task. Haha. <laughs> if I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones. I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? And what are you planning to take a picture of? Do you know about manta rays? Of course, they are one of the largest of their kind. I have seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Good, I am planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? All right, I am sold. But, but, they are nocturnal, so we need to move at night. Dude, you're taking money out of my pocket by making me dive at night instead of selling sushi. Yeah. And we need some lure to attract them. Yeah. Sir, I will prepare my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? Mm. Um, I don't know what manta rays feed on. Mm. I am sure you will figure that out in no time. Yeah. I will count on you then. Tell me when you've got the lure. Mm -hmm. Hmm, what would manta rays feed on? Mm. Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. Should I give her a call? <laughs> Game, you don't have to throw everything at me at the same time. You can spread it out a little bit. It's okay. Otto says, ho, ho, the rice has already grown. There's an odd energy to this region. <laughs> Come over to the farm. Okay, we're going to the farm. Did you know that... Oh, you could grow vegetables at the farm? The rice has already grown. Let's try harvesting it. In, in the part of the country I live in, part of the world I live in, I should say, I've never seen rice. I don't know what it looks like when it's growing. I have no idea. Harvest the fully grown rice. Okay, we harvested it, I think. Are these weeds? These are weeds. Let's get rid of these. Oh, we just raked in a ton of rice. You've got the hang of harvesting now, right? Mm. Yes, but can I plant more rice immediately after harvesting? Oh, oh. Uh, well, the land needs some time to recover, you know. <laughs> you just need to wait uh, half a day and you'll be able to plant more rice. Oh. In any case, rice this quality should satisfy that director guy as well. <laughs> I should get to the Zabancho. Thank you, Otto. Oh. Come by every now and then to manage the land. It'd be such a waste for crops to fall victim to insects. Yeah, screw you, insects. You need to remove all the weeds to restart farming. I did. Anything else you want to say to me, Otto? Uh -huh. Use white rice from the farm to make better quality sushi. <laughs> sushi made with Anam rice isn't really original sushi. Haha. <laughs> I wonder if this is a real rice and they're just like totally dunking on this rice here. Uh -huh. I'll grow the rice. Just kill off the insects every now and then. And then he took it to harpoon to a knee. Which is a Skyrim reference. There's little bugs flying around here. I guess we're okay. We got rid of the the weedage. All right, let's uh, get out of here. Um, we'll go to the sushi place. Do I need to give the rice to Bancho? Hey. Okay, you can make. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. So, nothing there. And he talks about the management app, which, you know, I don't really need. It just shows me stuff. That's great. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to come here. We could look at our ingredients and we'll see other. Oh, oh. Oh, we have cat food. We could give this cat some food. Where's the rice? What? What? Is, is I guess it's a plant. Okay, that makes sense, right? <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Close out of here. Let's go give this cat some cat food since we're here. Why not? What else are we going to do with this? Mew, mew, mew. Let's feed the cat. High quality cat food that I found in the ocean. Cat's loving it. Loving it. Meow. Meow. Okay, cat. You're welcome. Let's make a phone call to Ellie. Let's call her from the sushi bar. Oh, how's it going? 
Do you know what manta rays feed on? Hmm. I know what manta rays eat. <laughs> oh, really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night and they will come. And you will need uh, five kelp to lure plankton. Huh? It's made of kelp? Not necessarily, but they will work too. Just bring me some. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and look at farm now. All right, there's our, uh, there's our stuff. Great. Good cooksta. Bayaba says soup made with Cleone, but this big? How? Oh, you have no idea. Another new picture down here from Wuna1010. Food beyond imagination. Wolfiel tail? Sunang says shiny deep sea fish sushi. You can't get it anywhere else. Okay, looking good. Almost halfway to our follower thing, and we've done 12 of 19 recipes. That's pretty good. Pretty good. How many different songs are in here? Whoa, there's a lot of them. Sharks like games too. Uh, we'll check out the mini games here in a bit, but not right now. Weapon shop, yeah, it's telling us that we could upgrade still. Oh, we could upgrade our triple axle. I really want to upgrade my sniper rifle. That's what I really, really like. In order to upgrade the sniper rifle, um, hmm. Okay, I can't upgrade it. But it's not telling me what I need to upgrade it. I guess I need some shark teeth or something. I don't know. Going to Eye Diver. We have nearly 6,000 gold pieces. We can increase the damage of our harpoon gun. Let's do that. And let's get more air, man. I hate running out of air. I hate when that happens. That's, I don't know if I'm gonna need money for something else. Let's not go crazy. Back to the, f to the boat, I guess. Ellie's calling. Oh, you got it? Now input this here. Woohoo! Got some eco points. What? Yeah. Hey, this has nothing to do with the lure. Aw, oh, don't be disappointed yet. Ta da! The lure capsule. Oh? <laughs> Face. <laughs> Just drop this lure and you will lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye then. I got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. Ah, oh, this must be the lure for manta rays. My mouth is watering. Uh, I'm kidding. Oh. Anyways, I need to be prepared to take pictures at night. Yeah. I will call you when I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Why is it telling me to return to Tenzin? I thought we needed to go to the cave first. But it's telling me to return to Tenzin and I do what the game tells me to do. Uh, come to the village elder's place when the day breaks. I will, oh, I will tell you how to get to the abandoned cave. Okay. So we've completed everything for this guy. The VIP mission is going to go well. Daphne's whistle. We need to win a card game. And then here we need to go to the record chamber, which I can't seem to figure out how to get back to the wedding. Well, not the wedding chamber. The, the sea people. Record chamber. You know? Let's see if we can make it to the chamber. I don't want to go back to the sea people empty-handed so let's try that I guess um also do I want to take my net gun with me and try to net some more fish for their row let's do that let's do that I don't know hopefully we won't I don't know I think that the Sea People record chamber might be far over to the right and deep. So I'm going to try that this time. But man, I 
I don't remember how to get there. That's our goal. Well, that and maybe collect some fish. We'll try to collect some deeper fish, maybe. I'm gonna go as far to the right as I can. Oh, that was a loud sound. Is that something I need to be concerned about? Oh, there goes some tuna. Oh, uh, I, I don't have a tuna catching thing, darn it. See here, I don't have it. So maybe I'll try to remember that next time. Although we do have tuna in our ingredients list, so we are gonna be able to serve tuna. Is this as far as to the right as I could go? It's kind of looking that way, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, but, but wait, there's more. Considered trying to get those guys. All right, what's making these loud noises? Is this just random sounds? You're making me nervous, game. Oh, what were those guys? Did you see those guys up there? Were they tuna way down here? Oh, is this tuna? I guess that's maybe a different kind of tuna. I can't do anything with those guys. I don't have the little net bomb thing. Okay, we're below 50 meters now. I wish it told me whether I was getting fish eggs or not. I'm still not real clear on this either. I'll go ahead and get some sugar fish, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we got fish eggs, maybe we didn't. I don't see anything in here that tells me we got fish eggs. All right, let's go, focus. Trying. Boy, it's nice having all this oxygen. Limestone cave. Is this where the record place is? I don't remember. I do I do want to pick this up. There we go. We got all the orange starfish we need. Okay, we got currants. Oh, could this be it? Yes, I did it! Good job, me. I'm going to go ahead and get more ammo for our net gun here. And this is what? Sea grape. Okay, we don't see that every day. We'll grab some of that. Go to new region. This should be the records room. Wait. Why are there so many fish? Um. Okay. Retrieve the wedding song slate. Why are there so many fish? Are there fish in here? Are there a lot of fish? We got a dangerous fish in here. Oh, we got other dangerous fish in here. Let's let, let's see if we could clear some of these dangerous fish out. Oh, I just totally missed. I'm hoping that with my improved harpoon. Yep. One shot, one kill. Okay, we're gonna wait for this barracuda to come over here closer to us, maybe. Before we try to deal with this guy. Well, or maybe we'll deal with him first. He could be in trouble. Because I don't have a gun to shoot him with. Oh gosh, he has a pretty good turning radius. Oh crap, I do not want to get this Barracuda involved. Darn it. He's bleeding. Olé. Maybe I should just try that. Let him, let him. Nope, nope, nope. Never mind. Did we get him? I think we got him. Boy, I'm, I'm going to need some oxygen, though. Crap, man. Oh, Q? Oh, I could I could airlift him out of here if I want to, but I don't want to. I'm gonna just chop this stuff up. 
get some long nose saw shark meat, I think is what that was. Crap, I don't think there's any oxygen down here. I might be in trouble. Hmm, this appears to be the slab. I should take it to the shrine in the Sea People Village. Well, if I survive this, I will. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't think there's any oxygen in here for us. I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna swim faster, because when you swim, swim faster, you use more oxygen, and right now I'm hurting. Let's hope there's oxygen out here. Again, I'm gonna just take my time. Shoot. There's a jerkfish over here. Okay, there's a possibility that there's an O2 capsule in here. Capsule, canister, whatever. That'll help some. That was smart. Oxygen, where are you? There you are right there. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, we got oxygen now. Um, I could um, get three more fish with my net and I say, why not? I say to you, sir, why not? Don't swim away from me. Maybe that's the sound I hear. It's this, uh, tuna. Get away from me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, that was my third and final net thing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been determined that I can't... I can't, um, catch those, these tuna with a net. I have to use that thing. Well, hit me anyway, jerk. Ah, shoot, well... Uh, I just want to try something. I don't think it'll work, but I'm going to go down here. Blast that guy to kingdom come. Okay, I don't need any more orange starfish. Okay, we're going to switch back to this. I'm going to dismantle this just for the parts. Oh man, we are filling ourselves up with weight, aren't we? I'm going to go up here. Grab this ammo. Like I said, I don't think this will work, but I'm gonna to try to shoot a net at one of these guys. Yeah, I don't, that's not gonna work. I need that special thing. I need to try to remember to grab those when I go swimming. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Can I catch a jellyfish? It's like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, barrel jellyfish, why not? Don't want to get hit by these tuna. All right, back to the boats. So, I think we have everything the sea people need. Maybe I need to go down there and register these guys so that I don't have to keep carrying them around. I'm not sure. <laughs> Love that little sound effect. <laughs> All right. Time for me to end this episode. When we come back next time, we will use the mirror to travel back to the sea people. And um, we will return to Tenzin to figure out how to get to the abandoned cave. We will uh, bring the wedding song slate to somebody there 
in the Sea People village. I don't remember who, but it'll show up once we get there. And then it'll be D-Day for the VIP. Uh, I'll try to, let's see here, how do I do this? This is it, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Okay, so we went ahead and bought that. That'll help us catch tuna. So I wanted to go ahead and do that while I was thinking about it. So we'll have that for next time as well. We'll be able to catch some tuna. All right, another fun and interesting episode of Dave the Diver. <laughs> full of surprises. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.